good morning students welcome to workshop practice lab i am virakesh assistant professor in department of mechanical engineering kids varangal in this video lecture i am going to explain how to change 3d text in catia v5 software and how to import in uh, sl slicing software let us see here we are pro providing uh, one folder that is 3d printing folder in this uh, we are keeping two files one is uh, keychain modeling another one is name file first we need to open keychain file just you can double click on keychain file the window is appear like this one next again you can go to the uh, next file that is name again you can double click on this name file it is appear like uh, this like in this name file you need to add your name or roll number just you can double click on that name for example here i am entering one roll number that is b23 me001 for example i am taking one roll number b23 me001 just you can click on okay now save this file control s automatically the file is saved next you need to save this file in the format of dxf go to the file save as the same folder that is 3d printing folder save as type is dxf here file name is your roll number b23 me001 then click ok save now the file is saved saved as in the format of dxf format now close this window now open the saved file that is go to file open the file name is b23 me001 dxf file now select this one click on open now select this text copy then go to the previous window that is keychain window in this keychain window in the left side uh, it's showing one specification tree now extract uh, this specification tree this you can click on this plus symbol in that you need to change this name that is b rakesh you can replace with your roll number this you can this is the pad 3 in the pad 3 we are having one one file that is sketch file just you can double click double click on this sketch file now remove this text that is with the help of con uh, mouse left button you can select these letters then click delete now now paste the pre selected text just you can right click on the mouse right button or you can uh, click control v now the text is not appear for seeing the text you can click fit all in all in this tool is available in view toolbar now you can move this text from this place to on the model i can click fit all in now adjust this text on the keychain then you need to uh, click on exit workbench the exit workbench this option is available on the uh, 
right right side of the Catia V5 software. You can see here the keychain model is ready, ready ready to import in the slicing software. Now here the one important step is you need to save this file in the format of STL. STL stands for Stereo Lithography. Go to the file, save as. In the same folder, the file type is STL. STL stands for Stereo Lithography. Here file name is your roll number B23 MV001. The extension format is STL. Then click save. You can check in the folder that is B23ME001. This is the STL file. Then go to the uh, Ultimaker Cura software. In the search bar, you can search. You can type Ulti, Ulti Maker Cura. Here in my laptop, having Ulti Maker Cura 5.4.0 version is there. Just you can open this app. Now the software is loading. In this uh, Ultimaker Cura software, uh, you can do the slicing for Ultimaker Cura 3D printers or non Ultimaker Cura 3D printers. This is the universal software. Uh, first, you need to select the 3D printer type. Go to the uh, top left left icon you can uh, you can click here it's showing uh, two options one is add printer second one is manage printer now i am selecting add printer already selected just i am showing how to select the 3d printer in the ultimaker cura software uh, in this in this uh, menu it's showing two different options one is ultimaker printer another one is non ultimaker printer in our college we are using uh, non ultimaker printer so you need to choose non ultimaker printer uh, in this software having uh, more than 300 plus uh, uh, 3d printing versions are there in this you can choose creality our 3d printer is uh, suitable for creality 3d slicing software just you can choose creality uh, number of uh, Sub options are there. In this, you can choose any one. I, I have chosen that Creality CR10. Just you can click on Add. Add. Already I have added in this version, so that's why I'm not adding a second time. Next. After choosing 3D printer, now you need to import the keychain model in this work in this workspace. Go to the the left. You can click here. This is the open. From this, you need to choose. You need to choose B23 MB keychain. Then click open. Now the file is imported. When the file is imported, left to side few more few options are highlighted. One is move. Second one is scale. Third one is rotate. Fourth one mirror. Fifth one per model settings. Sixth one support blocker. First, uh, you you need to keep keep the position. Uh, 
for avoiding supports you need to uh, maximum surface that is attached with uh, uh, bed bed surface so this surface is uh, this smooth first we need to change the surface we need to uh, this is a smooth surface is parallel to this flat flat bed surface so that's why we need to rotate that model so you can choose third option rotate first you can choose this model then click on rotate here it is showing three options one is rotate next reset third one is lay flat lay flat is very useful icon for rotating surface parallel to build plate now select the face select this face you can see here that flat surface is parallel to flat bed next select the scaling you can check here uh, check the dimensions length is 100 mm width 50 mm and thickness 10 mm now i am changing uh, this dimensions reducing this dimension to 50 percentage 50 and choose uniform scaling both uh, x y z and three dimensions are changed uniformly this is the procedure to uh, importing the stl model in the slicing software then go to the settings here i am choosing standard quality settings so that's why i am not changing any type of post setting just you can see here what are the options are available in the print settings uh, lay height 0.2 mm this is the standard one next to top bottom thickness 0.8 mm uh, here infill density i have taken as 30 percentage if you want you can increase infill density from 30 to 100 that is depending upon your requirement next infill pattern here uh, number of uh, patterns are available like grid lines triangles tri hexagon cubic cubic subdivision or etc you can choose the uh, uh, different type of infill pattern that is depending upon your model here i have chosen that cubic model that is uh, uh, default one next uh, material here these are the material uh, temperatures and uh, different options are available in this in this option the printing temperature is 200 degree centigrade and build plate temperature 50 degree centigrade in this uh, 3d printing software here we are using uh, PLA material that is polylactic acid material. Next supports. Depending upon the supports, you can give the support to any complex 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 objects. Next build plate addition. It's showing different different options, script, brim, etc. The default one is brim. You can also change brim to script, script to uh, other option then close this one the last one is slice this option is available uh, bottom right side of the software this is slice option blue color indicates slicing option just you can click start the slicing process you can see it it takes 39 minutes the required material is 1.5 uh, 53 meters length and uh, weight is 5 grams then click save to disk then click save to disk you can uh, save you can save this uh, file in the same folder that is 3d printing now the file is converted from stl to g code the machine machine takes only g codes so that's why we are converting STL file to G code. Just save here. Now open folder. Now copy this G code file in pen drive 
and put that pen drive in the 3D printer. This you can click 3D printing. The process is started. I hope uh, this is very clear to everyone. Thank you for watching. Please uh, do like and subscribe my channel for more updates.